The elephant bird, as the name suggests, was an enormous flightless bird that was endemic to the island of Madagascar off the eastern coast of South Africa. They lived there during the Pleistocene and Holocene epochs and only disappeared around 1000 years ago. The name elephant bird apparently originates from Marco Polo's account in the year 1298, referring to a bird that was strong enough to quote, seize an elephant with its talons. They were once a common sight on Madagascar and they were the largest megafauna species in their habitat. Elephant birds are considered to be members of the group of birds known as ratites that today includes birds such as ostriches, emus, cassowaries, and the kiwi bird of New Zealand. Contrary to what you would think, the closest living relative of the elephant bird is not the giant nine foot tall ostriches that inhabit the plains of South Africa, but actually the tiny chicken sized kiwi bird. Genetic studies of elephant and kiwi bird DNA show that the two lineages diverged from one another during the Eocene epoch around 50 million years ago. During their time on prehistoric Madagascar, there could have been as many as eight species of elephant birds, which have been classified into three separate genuses, Apionis, Milleronis, and Vombri. Vombri is the largest genus of elephant birds. Specimens belonging to this genus include the heaviest known birds, Standing approximately 10 feet tall and weighing up to 732 kilos, it was the largest bird ever to walk our planet, even larger than other giant birds such as Dinornis and Dromornis. Its height makes it the second tallest bird in history, only surpassed by the also extinct moas of New Zealand. In life, elephant birds are thought to have resembled ostriches in appearance, only a lot larger. Elephant bird remains are abundant, and fossil evidence indicates that each species was massively constructed with conical beaks, short thick legs, three-toed feet, and relatively small wings that were obviously useless for flight. Thus, researchers suggest that they were probably slow-moving inhabitants of forests. The elephant bird lived along other remarkable species on the island, including gorilla-sized lemurs, giant tortoises, as well as dwarf hippos all of which were wiped out on the island around the same time as the elephant bird. Humans are believed to have played a major role in their disappearance. Elephant birds had the advantage of living in a habitat with plenty of lush tropical vegetation, but very few mammalian predators, a perfect recipe for what biologists refer to as insular gigantism, which is when the size of an animal species isolated on an island increases dramatically in comparison to its mainland relatives. Prior to human colonization, it is believed that the elephant bird had no predators in its habitat, allowing these birds to evolve into enormous sizes. They had huge powerful legs, equipped with powerful claws, and likely moved slowly due to their lack of predators. Whilst they couldn't fly, they still had large undeveloped wings that were obviously useless for flight. In spite of its robust and intimidating appearance, as far as scientists can tell, it was actually a herbivore choosing to feed on various types of plants and fruit. They may have been important in the dispersal of some fruit-bearing plants on the island, plants that are now only known from a few very old individual trees. It is thought that elephant birds inhabited the forests, woodlands, and grasslands of Madagascar. However, when human inhabitants arrived on the island around 2000 years ago, they fragmented and burned these environments, causing the birds to lose their livelihood and become extinct soon afterwards. In 2018, researchers used CT imaging technology on two species of elephant bird skulls. What they discovered is that the bird's optic lobe, which is the bundle of nerves that control vision, was very small, almost absent in the larger species of elephant bird. The lobe shares a lot of similarities with the kiwi bird of New Zealand which is quite shocking, as the kiwi bird has poor vision and is nocturnal. This surprisingly might suggest that this species of elephant bird was in fact a nocturnal animal, which is unusual for birds. Only 3% of bird species today are nocturnal. Andrew Inouak, an associate professor at the University of Lethbridge and an expert on brain evolution in birds, said, I was surprised that the visual system is so small in a bird this big. For a bird this large to evolve a nocturnal lifestyle is truly bizarre. 
The smaller species of elephant fur that they tested appears to have had a somewhat keener sense of vision, which means it may have been more active at dusk than during the pitch black of night. In addition, the CT imaging also shed light on the elephant bird's olfactory bulb, which is the part of the brain that processes the sense of smell. The larger of the two species of elephant birds had a large olfactory bulb, a trait associated with forest dwelling. In contrast, the smaller species of elephant bird had a smaller olfactory bulb, possibly indicating it lived in grasslands. The elephant bird laid the largest eggs of any animal in existence, even larger than the giant sauropods of the Cenozoic era. Their eggs had a capacity of roughly two gallons. It was 180 times bigger than a chicken egg, and seven times larger than an ostrich egg, and a whopping 12,000 times larger than a hummingbird egg. Evidence have been found that humans once utilized the elephant bird eggs as bowls. Eggshells have been excavated near fire pits that suggest humans used the eggs to feed entire families. It is theorized that the huge eggs of the elephant bird made it prime target for prehistoric humans, playing a major role in their extinction. As in many parts of the world, the historical arrival of humans is roughly correlated with the loss of many large animal species, but this doesn't tell us the precise cause of the animal's extinction. It could have been overhunting or unsustainable egg collection by people that caused the elephant bird's demise. Species that emerged without serious predators or competition, such as the elephant bird, may just simply lack the instinct to flee newly arrived human hunters and gatherers. Some suggest that humans introduced domestic birds that brought with them infectious diseases that devastated indigenous species. Or perhaps humans contributed to critical habitat loss, leading to population collapse. Alternatively, there may have been contributing environmental and climate shifts that were not directly due to human activity, or all these factors may have contributed to their extinction. Well that's it for this video, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.